Now to a Pledge of Allegiance controversy happening in a local school district. The state of Texas now challenging a lawsuit filed by a SciFair ISD student who refused to stand for the pledge. We've been asking you today, should students be required to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Here's a look at the results so far from our informal poll. Most of you say you should stand. It is disrespectful to stay seated. Our Jason Miles is live from Federal Court downtown with more on what's behind the lawsuit. Jason? Well, Lynn, uh, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton intervened in this case by filing this here at federal court this week. As a result, not only is SciFair ISD named in the lawsuit, but now the state of Texas. It's a case that could have national implications. What took a few seconds to happen here at Winfern High School last fall resulted in a months-long legal battle over the right for students to sit down during the Pledge of Allegiance. And she asked me to, and I said I wouldn't. And she said, well, you're kicked out of here. Senior India Landry first shared her story with us after her expulsion, which she and her mother claimed was an arbitrary decision by the principal who saw India sitting during the pledge, something she'd done hundreds of times before. I don't think that the flag is what it says it's for, for liberty and for justice and all that. It's not obviously what's going on in America today. Houston attorney Randall Callanan filed a federal suit on India's behalf, arguing that free speech protections also apply to silent protests. Well, the outcome will hopefully will be is that the school will recognize that students do not have to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. And Callanan tells me he isn't concerned that Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton intervened in this suit, seeking to protect the state law that prohibits students from sitting during the pledge without written parental consent. In a statement, Paxton said, quote, requiring the pledge to be recited at the start of every school day has the laudable result of fostering respect for our flag and a patriotic love of our country. Callanan believes Paxton's involvement is purely political, as was that of the principal who initially disciplined India approximately one week after President Trump criticized kneeling NFL players. We are confident that based upon the law that uh, Ms. Landry will prevail and she will once again be able to sit for the Pledge of Allegiance. And Callanan tells me India Landry is no longer a student at Winfern High School. In fact, she missed her graduation last spring. The SciFair ISD has no comment on pending litigation. That's what I was told today. Meantime, this case is scheduled to go to trial next April. Guys. All right, Jason Miles reporting. Thanks so much. And we are learning more about the Houston man who 